Hi YouTubers, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My channel is called Wake Up To Yourself. So please like, share, subscribe, like the video because it does help with the algorithm. Today we're going to talk about your body is not a mixing bowl. I see today because I had to go to rehab because I do have MS. I take no medications, none at all. Because my body is not a mixing bowl. And some of the people in there take 15 and 20 pills a day. It's like, what is that doing? To that person's body. How is it we got to the point to stay alive you got to take all these pills? Why aren't we trying to get anything out of our bodies? We're steady putting stuff in. Killing ourselves. L look. I, I, your body's not a mixing ball. That's all I got to say, your body is not a mixing bowl because now they want to take the vaccine. Then they want to take a flu shot. How does all that react to the pills that you take? You might have high blood pressure. You might have a diabetes. You could have this. You're stuck. It's like, why am I putting all this stuff in my body? Do we get rid of anything? All it seems like is done is adding, adding, adding. How are you taking a medication that it arms your stomach? Well, wait a minute, hold up. Did I get rid of the first problem? Before I started dealing with the sack, well, I'm doing it with all of them. Your body is not a mixing bowl. You take shots and pills. It's like it's a never ending thing. But I do have something. Like I say, I take the hydrogen peroxide, food concentrate, 35%, it gets stuff out of my body. Like, it got rid of my stretch marks, it got rid of all kinds of stuff. It got rid of it. What do you do when you get it out? You get rid of it. I stopped using salt, sugar, and white flour. Guess what, my stretch marks went away. My gray hair went away. My skin got better. Why? Because all that stuff was in my body. I got it out. And I stopped using it. See, we think that we don't have to change. And yes, we do. We do. They want to give you a pill for everything that happens in your life and what does that bill do they make them money like how do we go from prep being prescribed to free what don't you need a prescription for that now you're getting it free online Work control, get that, get the shot, and just a shot. What, what is it doing to my body? Well, it causes your, it, it causes infection, but it lowers your ability to fight the infection. What? I don't understand. So how is that helping me? See, I'm not anti-vaxxer. I just don't like this vaccine. Because 
computers to get sick if you take the vaccine you might not be as hard but you still get sick so then cut that out I guess people are dying they say well it's unvaccinated well they won't tell you if they're vaccinated if people dying because I know a vaccine person died. He didn't die from the vaccinations. He did not die from the vaccinations. He died from something else. And the vaccination, I do believe, is lowering your ability for your body to fight. It's lowering your immune system. It's doing something to your immune system. It's like sanitizer. That stuff does not need to be in your home. Sanitizer and disinfectant do not need to be in your home. Excuse me. You don't need to sanitize anything because your body is bacteria. You need bacteria for your body to live. You need germs. Germs are helpful to you. They create antibodies so your body can fight. And so you're saying, let's kill 99.9% .9 of all germs of bacteria. What? I need that. What if I'm killing the stuff that I need? We that we have gotten into this. Let's kill everything. Let's put all this stuff in a vice tree. And it's crazy that as right now. All we do is add, add, add. There's no subtraction. We keep adding, adding. Sometimes they say, that's why your mama got a call for a call because she keep adding clothes, she doesn't subtract. She keep adding shoes, she doesn't subtract. They keep adding problems, they don't subtract. A lot of the problems can be fixed. They just don't want to fix them. They don't know really how. And it will cost some money. But look how much money it's going to save. Look how much money the people are going to get. Look at that. No. We fight over the dead ceiling. It's like, can I ask you a question? When did debt become a good thing? When did debt, being in debt, become good? Because our country is in debt. A lot of millionaires and billionaires are in debt. They said they're rich, but they're in debt. Stop making your body into a mixing bowl. Because you are not a mixing bowl. Stop putting all that medicine in your body. Think of what you could do differently. Think a little differently. Just like that. I just took three things out of my lifestyle. Because I will not say diet. And I don't say diet because you say diet. Spell it. D-I-E-T. Take the T off of it. Die. I don't know a healthy way to kill yourself. 
So that's why they don't work. That's why you need to change your lifestyle. You do a lifestyle change, your body lose that weight. And it'll stay that way because you change your lifestyle. But all I did to change my lifestyle was that I stopped using salt, I stopped using sugar, and I stopped using white flour. Because you know what? They use bleach to make that white. I don't need to put that in my body. So, because when you do put that in your body and you eat it, your immune system starts first in your stomach and it starts fighting that first. And it ignores a lot of other stuff that it needs to. So, when I stop that, that's why my trash ground grew away because my immune system don't work out my body. That's why my gray hair went away because my immune system, I wasn't dying myself. I wasn't bleaching myself. My body stopped becoming a victim because I stopped doing all that. Guess what? Your taste buds wake up. Because you know you dull your taste buds using salt and sugar? You know you dull them? and make you eat more, put it on more weight. And a lot of your weight is water. How do you get rid of that water? Well, stop using salt and sugar and that water doesn't have anything to, salt and sugar holds water in your body. When you get rid of it, your body changes. Your taste buds wake back up. You start tasting your food. And you know if that person can cook or not. Or they did you a lot of salt. Stop making your body into a mixing bowl. Because your body is not. Sanitizer. You really just, that really need to be stopped used everywhere. The dog, everybody needs to use, stop using sanitizer. Because sanitizer kills 99.9% of all germs and bacteria. It could be killing the bacteria you need for your body. It could be killing a good germ that help your body fight that you need that make the antibodies. So it could be killing you because you put that shit on your hands. So stop. Stop doing it. And you say, hey, I, I, uh, no, I don't need to for your sanitizer. That's why you couldn't put your hands on your face because you could be transferring it. You could be killing yourself and don't even know it. Because they haven't gotten rid of this virus. They just hope it keeps going on and on because we're getting more money on it. That's why they tell everybody, Go get a shot and you might win a trip. You might win some money. You might do this. You might do that. Really? Really? We are, we may be damaging ourselves. We may be killing ourselves. Making our body into a mixing bowl. Stop making your body into a mixing bowl. Stop using sanitizer. <laughs> Try to be so damn clean. Try to use all these chemicals clean. 
maybe killing you. You are supposed to be clean. You are supposed to clean up. Clean up do hell. You're not supposed to use too much of it. Like anything, you're not supposed to use too much of anything. You're not supposed to eat too much of anything. What are the consequences? That's what we're not looking at. What are the consequences? I I just wanted to get on here today and say, stop making your body into a mixing bowl. Stop. So please like share, subscribe, and comment. Hit that like button because the like button does help the algorithm so more people can see my videos. So thank you and welcome to my channel. Like I said, it's called Wake Up To Yourself. Thank you.